Well, hey, EFCA West, February is Black History Month, and we posted a video that I really encourage you to watch, and it's by Dr. Tony Evans, and the video is called Wisdom from the Historical Black Church, and it's about him reading a portion of his book, Oneness Embraced, but he talks about the unique contributions of the black church historically to America, and what we can all learn from the church as it's become a redemptive community um, for the black community in particular. I really loved just hearing him read that book and the thoughts and ideas that he had presented. If you haven't had a chance to read it, I encourage you to do that, especially during this time where I think there's great value in us learning, especially what God has done through the black community in America. I also want to let you know about a cohort, two cohorts we have coming up, and we talk about them in a podcast that we just released. Myself and Bob Osborne talk about mid-level leadership and elder boards and how to get better at both of them. And I really encourage you to listen to this podcast as well because you're going to get a taste of what these cohorts are going to be like. These cohorts are going to give you the opportunity to be in a peer-level learning environment where there'll be a ton of relevant content and you'll be able to kind of learn experientially in kind of real time with others. I think it's the best way to go. So there's still time. These cohorts don't start till March, but sign up because we don't want them to fill up on you. But check out the podcast and again, you can get more of a deep dive into a preview of what we're going to be talking about. And you know, finally, I, I want to read a portion of scripture to you that I hope is encouraging to you. You're holding down the fort week in and week out during one of the most challenging seasons that our nation has ever had and one of the most challenging seasons that the church has ever had. And as we've talked about many times before, expect emotions to run higher. Expect spiritual warfare to be great. Expect uh, issues to become accelerated and sometimes even get bigger than they should be because of this unique time in which we're living. But I want to just read to you from Psalm 103, verse 13 through 14. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. And you know, sometimes you do the best you can do, but we still live in a broken, fallen world and you give it everything you got. And even when stuff is difficult, remember, God's got you. You've been saved by the blood of Jesus and you've been called to the ministry that you're in. And I hope you are sensing God's pleasure with you this week. God bless.